Good morning, happy Thursday. I move house tomorrow. It's currently 7 a.m. and I actually have to go to the house in time to let someone in for like 8 a.m. So I'm up, we're gonna go and do that and I really, really need a coffee but I'll catch up with you when we get there. I think this is the first time I've been in the house at this time of day for like, oh my goodness, years. It's morning time and it's so cool seeing the light in here and everything in the morning. Obviously, I've got all the lights on because we're getting to that time of year, but it feels really, really nice. So I have to sort some bits and bobs ready for the person I've got to let in at eight and then I can zip off and get on with my day. I didn't sleep very well last night. I just couldn't get to sleep. I think I just had too much in my mind and I was really excited and just didn't sleep. So I woke up this morning at six and I was like, Ouch. But before we get any further in today's vlog, I want to let you know about today's giveaway. So if you haven't been watching the vlogs, I've been posting a daily vlog every single day this week up until the day I move, which is tomorrow. And in every vlog, I have been giving away something to you guys. And it's been different every single day. We've had an Amazon gift card. We've had a John Lewis gift card. And today's giveaway is a £100 H&M home gift card. Now, yes, of course, you can use this in normal H&M. Someone actually suggested this the other day, and I was like, okay, I'll switch the one out I have for that one because they were like yeah because then we can get a blanket and a jumper and I was like you know what that's actually a really fair point so yeah today's giveaway prize is a £100 H&M home gift card that obviously can be used at H&M for clothes as well if you want to enter all the details will be on the screen right now and good luck I hope you win so I'm trying to use my time waiting around for good not for bad <laughs> By that, I mean not scrolling on TikTok and actually doing something productive. I need to figure out where I'm going to put my coffee machine. So, in theory, it makes sense to have it here. I don't know if it's going to go under the shelf, though. I think it will, because then I can have my milk in the drinks fridge and have this, like, my little coffee station. But then where am I going to have... I could have my KitchenAid and things over in that corner. I am one of those people that has, like, 50 appliances out on the kitchen counter. It's honestly a problem. I need to not. I can also have something in that cupboard because I have sockets in there, but it's whether I actually, you know, want to do that. I kind of like having them out. Yeah, I feel like KitchenAid makes more sense over there near the oven. And the coffee machine makes sense here because it's right near the drinks fridge and I can just have my milk in there. But then where am I going to keep my mug? I don't know. Nowhere feels like a mug cupboard. And maybe here. I feel like mug cupboards in my head are always like up head height. I don't know why. Maybe that's just because every home I've ever lived in, you've reached for a mug. I was thinking though, I am having the back wall of this panelled at some point. And I was thinking how cute would it be to have on the bottom shelf, hooks put on the bottom for mugs. But then I'd have that dilemma of having to get matching mugs. And then if a mug breaks or whatever, then it's just, I don't know. Maybe that should be the mug cupboard. It is crazy how I have no like at height cupboards. Obviously I couldn't this side because of the ceiling. And then this side, well, I mean, I have my floor to ceiling over there, but yeah, I don't know. It's, there's so much, so much space, so much room, but but obviously I can change it around. It doesn't matter if I, you know, get it wrong. So obviously over the last couple of years, I spent quite a lot of time in the US and there was one thing that I really wanted in my home that isn't typical in a British home and that is a sprayer. And this is the coolest thing. How great. I just think this is so handy that when I was kind of planning my kitchen, planning my home, it was something on my list that I was like, I would really like to have that. It would be a really, you know, like a little luxury, nice to have thing. I just think they're really handy. Honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna put in either of these cupboards actually, because I am gonna keep, I think my cleaning products down here. So maybe I was like, I know normally under the sink you have cleaning products, but if I have a whole cleaning cupboard here, then I don't necessarily need to do that. I need to figure out what I'm gonna put in the drawers. See, I could have like appliances up here, but that feels like a bit of a waste now seeing it. Well, I'm sure I'll figure it out. I've lost count of the amount of times I've come into this vlog with powder all over my face. We've just been out for a morning walk and I've obviously done my makeup and I'm gonna head into Central. I didn't actually tell you this yesterday. I went in to go and do what I needed to do and realized when I got in that I was wearing the wrong outfit, so. <laughs> Oh, Emma's trying a date that I made her. I'm not going to show you her because she's got a hair mask on right now and I think she'd tell me off. Which one did you get? 
Nutella. Nutella. Mm hmm So good, right? I can see my legs when I'm not looking like a festering rat. Yeah, we're going to see. Well, she doesn't look like a festering rat, but she does have a hair mask on. Emily has to be nice about me now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so mean about my friend. At least you know I genuinely like her if I'm uh, I feel like if you're constantly complimenting someone, you're trying to justify the fact you like them. I love my best friend. No, we know I look ugly right now. <laughs> Literally. We're going to Frozen tonight. So I've got a pre ready to go and shoot this. Let me show you what I'm wearing. The dates are dating, but yeah, I've got them pre ready. What I'm filming is a workout thing, but it's not actually a workout, so I've got a little set on. Um, yeah, this is what I'm going with, but I went to go and shoot yesterday and realized I was wearing jeans and a trench coat and how stupid that would look. So I was like, mm -mm, not happening. And because obviously I was packing everything up, I found my smaller long shot bag. This is the, I don't know if this is the medium size or the small size, but this is the one that I haven't been using, but it does fit my laptop in just. So I thought we'd bring her out of retirement because the camera that I vlog with fits in there as well. So when I go out and about, I can take it and it's not, it's not too big. It's a bit smaller, more compact than my Neverfull or my other Longchamp. So she's in uh, she's in rotation. Although I did see a lady yesterday with a chocolate brown Longchamp Le Pliage, and now I want that one as well. And the beige one that I got. Um, the list is extensive, but for now we're doing. Is this navy or black? What's your size? This size or the bigger one? I do love this one. I don't overload it, but no then I can't put a jumper in this one, whereas I can put a jumper in the other one. That's, yeah, pros and cons. So it's very windy if you can hear that, but I've just come into town for the second day in a row to shoot the same thing. And yet again, it just looks abysmal because of the weather. It was so nice and bright outside earlier. I was like, perfect, this is the dream. I get here and no. Like, it literally looks atrocious. Like, I can't, I can't. You know, sometimes that you can make things work. This is not a make things work scenario. So I'm just gonna have to do it at the weekend when we have some sun, because I think it's because I'm in the city and everything's so shadowed that it just looks, I mean, maybe you guys wouldn't notice if I posted it anyway, but I just couldn't. So I'm at Brunswick Square right now. I did a meetup here years and years ago with L'Oreal at Superdrug. I don't know if any of you remember. It was so random. I'd never been here before and they gave me the location I turned up I was like where am I because it's such an old looking building but you know what the uh like the food here and the little shopping bit is really really cute but yeah sadly can't do what I need to do but this is just honestly the reality it's like sometimes you gotta give the same thing a go a few times and there's nothing you can do about it so I'm gonna head back to Em's house and go and start to get ready for tonight obviously I've done my makeup and I think my hair still looks fine so I'm just gonna put my dress on I have this gorgeous dress from Dish which I'm very excited to wear I just don't know what I'm gonna do shoe wise and I need to eat before we go as well uh, but yeah we're going to see Frozen in the third I'm so excited so we're heading out in probably about 20 minutes but I got myself a salad this actually looks insane I got the cashew sauce and it was supposed to be the balsamic but that doesn't oh that's sweet chili did you mm. add tofu no that, feta oh, that looks salmon like tofu. chicken because their tofu is so good it's like a sticky tofu i've never tried tofu in my it's unreal. i went all out i got salmon and chicken this was an extremely expensive salad it was unnecessary but i had delivery credit so i was like you know what i'm gonna treat myself so yeah anyone wants to send emily a housewarming present just send her some delivery yes <laughs> <I don't laughs> send know. me some delivery credit i was thinking this i, I was like my brother for christmas that's I just got delivery credit. such a cute like movie in ingot like here's here's some delivery credit to get your first dinner or here's your I think that's such a nice idea. But actually I'm gonna get a real knife and fork. This just feels criminal when I have actual knife and forks. So this is my dress of choice. It's from Dish. And you know what? I've had it about a week and I've always already wanted to wear it about three times. But I keep stopping myself. I'm like, no, save it, no, save it. But today feels like the day. And it's just kind of hitting me right now that I move tomorrow and I'm like trying not to get insanely excited, but like kind of hard. It is a bit annoying though that I wasn't able to get my thing shot earlier that I wanted to, but it's fine. I'll make it happen just not today apparently. So we are going to see Frozen tonight, which has been on my list for, I mean, literally since it opened. And Freddie raves about it. She literally went last week. So I'm even more excited because I think when you go and see a show and it's been like verified by someone's judgment you trust, that it's really good. I just think, I don't know, it adds to it. And it's like, okay, this is like really exciting. So I'm very excited to have like a really nice wholesome evening. And it feels like a really nice pre-move celebration even though i haven't you know actually moved yet and i don't know what tomorrow is actually going to go like but i need to write out actually a bit of an order of the day a bit of a plan just so i feel organized even if it doesn't go that way 
it's fine. But just so I feel kind of on top of things, I think it's probably a sensible idea. But I'm kind of at that point where I'm like losing everything and I don't know where things are. Like I was looking for a lip balm earlier. Could not for the life of me find a lip balm. I have so many lip balms in so many different bags and apparently they were nowhere to be seen. So if that doesn't tell you where I'm at, then I don't know what else will. <laughs> we're en route. And isn't it a lovely evening? I'm here. I feel like, oh my gosh, she's alive. You're seeing her now. I've been behind now. the camera the whole time and guys, this is why. Yeah, Em has been not well. She's had no voice. She's fine she's now. Fine. Um, but yeah, she went on a, basically a cruise to Norway and oh God, Iceland. I think I just overexerted. I had a lot of fun. And then came back ruined. But we're just well, walking. Well, no, the cruise didn't ruin me. What was it then? I think, no, the cruise was honestly a dream. I think my body reacts like this when I, my body reacts like this when I don't have enough sleep and I may be like, I'm out of my routine and like, yeah. it was fine when I got back, but then a few days after I was like, oh, yeah. I think I need to recoup. So this just means I had a lot of fun, <laughs> but we're here now. We're going to see Frozen and we're having literally the nicest walk. I did not oh, think this evening that. was going to be this nice. It's and now perfect. we're on the walk. I don't know if you can see, but it's like a lovely blue sky. And it's walking past the queen, Dr. Sarah. <laughs> here we are. And it's just feeling very magical. And we're about to go and see something even more magical. I don't think I've actually computed what we're about to do. How long have I wanted to see this? Both of us. Our entire friendship would be like, let's go see Frozen. So long. But yeah, we're about to hop on the tube. Oh my goodness, it's so bustling tonight in Soho. But we've just got here. We're about to walk round to the Drury Lane Theatre and we managed to find time to pop into Carpo on the way at Knightsbridge and get some chocolate to sit and nibble on it in the show which is gonna be so good. It's one of my favourite chocolate shops and it's right outside Harrods so it's just always that little bit tempting. Here we go, it's present time. We were here not too long ago actually for the announcement of the refurbishment of the Disneyland Hotel we got to see some sneak peeks but I put that on Instagram actually, I never had a chance to tell you, but it's lovely to be back. Please be courteous to your fellow audience members. Perfect. But this is like a Biscoff sauce. They have a cashew one that's really good. They're... What else? I mean, they're all good. The chocolate almond's good. Yum. Yes, load me up, please. All toppings. Yeah, I got the lotus in the bottom, strawberries and that. Yum, how good does this look? Evan's doing all sprinkles. We couldn't come to Soho without getting a meter, but mine looks like it's about to tumble over. I need to eat some of this. Um, em suggested this, so I'm kind of over the moon. I didn't even think about it. Well, that was a very nice accidental Anita Gelato trip. I always love it when it's not my suggestion because it feels more special. Like, I would go there every time I walk past and I definitely had phase last summer where I did. But I think when someone else suggests it, it's like, oh, this is like a real treat because I'm not the one dragging anyone there. So that was so lovely. I had the plain froyo and I don't know if you could actually hear me, but I put the, like, the lotus in the bottom, some strawberries, then the yogurt, and then I usually do the cashew cream on top, but they didn't have any. But I'm going to try and like recreate it at home with my ninja creamy and like my cashew butter and just see if I can make something magical without having to actually go there and buy it but yeah it is literally 11:15. I don't know if you can see and it is my final night before I move into my forever home which is kind of crazy um it feels very very surreal I was saying to Emma I feel a bit numb I don't really know how I feel but I am obviously ridiculously excited but I'm just a bit I think I'm a bit in disbelief I think that's what it is but either way I'm gonna head off to sleep because I'm gonna have to try very hard but I don't know how I'm gonna get any sleep because tomorrow is a big day and then tomorrow night I'll be falling asleep in the bedroom that I'm probably gonna be in for I don't even know how many years of my life hopefully the rest of my life after all of this but thank you so much for watching and thank you for all the love and support on all these vlogs tomorrow's probably gonna be a bit of a mental one but I mean it is what it is but yeah thank you so much for everything I'm sure I'll have a nice chat tomorrow but I will see you bright and early in the morning good night